German will say hello, hello, hello. Yes, today too, we are still in the beautiful state of Baden-Württemberg, the justice seat of the Deutschland, in the city of Elvain. That's the beautiful city of Elvain. We are still at. And that's the view of the so our state of Baden-Württemberg, our Germany, MMU. Ah, aye, a crow, ah, aye, a fair, ah, the dean, a day, Alvina, and also be a dasso away. Now, aye, and the Jane, aye, and Wawasa, Oka DFK News Network, our, um, your documentary, our ruin, and your programs, our ruin, our own. Your best share, aye, Christosum, ah, our, aye, Juro, in Potemunina. The Pabre, while Junipi, the fact Christosum, we are going to look about the Christianity in Juro. There are a lot of thoughts about the European, um, the Christianity in this European continent. Because of that, many people are saying that by raising a concern so that um, the Christianity of Europe is um, getting over. The people as soon as I was to say, Christosma, Europe, a term, a free set, yet three and a share a crotchet tree to set Germany. You will say Germany or Maya was so a sum of ruin in our soul, talking about the Deutschland, which is Germany. Germany um, tolerate on all kinds of religion, it is a nation of diversity. They believe in all kinds of religion and believe in tolerance. This is Germany. This is where we are today, and coming to talk about the Christianity today in the land of Europe. And let's see, you better try your name. I have to share a year more Saint Vitus Basilica, a year a short time for Fabia with this year. A dear Ben and I'm summer a year a profi a year Germany for one and a num a year Germany at your concronium. You know, it's our friend on Gomano one and a num a ball or quine at the two one num. Now, what they want crown when you put in our tour now, one mark a short time for Faso now, one mark a summer a year Christmas summer a July. So, what the better take one mark. Then, now what you want everyone, the dear Betra, now a dia with this one, a dear Bentina, um, with this is a dino, a DC one. There are a lot of concerns, but we are going to, um, we are heading towards to Saint, Saint Vitus, um, Basilical Catholic, um, to see, um, the beautiful temple that the forefathers of the German, then Goma in the scriptures, um, built, um, into this land and into this, um, beautiful city of. And why? Why is it that they built this beautiful um, temple? Did they build this beautiful temple for it to become the museum? Or they built this beautiful temple um, for their, uh, uh, for their uh, grandsons and their granddaughters talking about um, their grandchildren um, to worship into that um, temple? Now, are they worshiping in that temple? Or uh, yes or no? If it is no, then why and uh, what happened? Uh, but we are not going to concentrate the, um, uh, the most. But what we are going to concentrate is why did these people uh, build this beautiful temple and the way they have um, they have decorated into the beautiful temple, talking about the beautiful architectural work. Um, those days, there are no any technologies, but they were able to do a lot of things, a lot of stuff, a lot of arts, which are very beautiful and beyond the mind. This is what we are going to look in the uh, St. Vitus Basilical um, Cathedral. Yes, finally, you can see we are in a place very quiet place a very beautiful temple in fact may the lord bless um, the martyrs of this christianity they have done their best they have done their best look at this beautiful temple very very beautiful beautiful temple St. Vitus Basilica. A very beautiful temple and a very beautiful stuff. That's why we're supposed to continue praying for these martyrs, for their struggling and their sacrifice, for their nation, 
and uh, for this Christianity religion. Very beautiful place. May the Lord continue to bless these people. Very beautiful. Fantastic. Just look at the architect. Wow. Fantastic. And right. What can we see? There is nothing done there. May the Lord continue to bless this matter. Very beautiful temple. Very beautiful. Wonderful stuff. This is a wonderful stuff. Look at the architectural way. Beautiful. In the beautiful city of Elvine. Beautiful. A sorry through all these things ended up a victory. 
the sword of Lord Jesus Christ did for us. And this sword, through his martyrs, did for his people. See the place is very quiet. It is the whole. It is a holiest place, very quiet. And uh, I am going to the next chamber. The place that I am going is um, the next chamber. All this place, um, uh, another chamber. You see, we showed you. We as we shown you. Um, the chambers of the fathers and the seats um, of the congregations. Um, this place um, is the seat um, of um, the musicians, which is the choristers. Very beautiful place. This is the bell that we normally hear it wrangle and um, the piano. Very nice stuff. Um, you know, old type of um, piano. We are formed with metals, very nice and beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. Another stuff here. Very beautiful, beautiful stuff that um, your eye will always catch on it and not easy for you to remove your eye from it. Very beautiful stuff, beautiful, uh, talking about um, architecture, very beautiful architectural work here, very beautiful architectural works here, very beautiful stuff. You can see the place, very beautiful, and here are the, some of the um, martyrs, some more of the early church. You can see this place is a very beautiful place. They have built this temple. And why, why, why did this, um, our forefathers put all this beautiful stuff? You know, they freed all their minds and uh, from all their hearts with um, the start of um, the St. Vitus. Very beautiful architecture. They freed all their minds, as I was saying, and they were from all their hearts by building these beautiful buildings. They put this beautiful stuff for their children not to come uh, and uh, see did not to, to come and see the stuff um, like I'm um, just a museum but to worship in this place so our concentration is not just um, on the way people are being attended churches but we know place that built uh, by our um, forefathers and uh, by the martyrs of um, these Christian nations and um, the fathers of the Deutschland um, have been endured with a good fruit by fulfilling well. Um, yes, this is what it is. Very beautiful place. Um, a lot of things, a lot of stuff goes on here. Many people normally raise um, issues about the statute. Of law.
Yes, we are in the beautiful temple that we told you about, which is St. Vitus Basilica, a very beautiful temple in the city of Elvine. Yet I saw a year, a fair, I come at the Chilamono Emu. So Uber two and eight, now I shall utmuse a dying, a dying, a fair year, a St. Vitus Basilica. Dear Eternal Sir, in Sri Lanka, you are one young cop. Oh, I think I see a num a year, a D four, and a small four so. A soft four so now, a year, Edema, a year, other than mine, in Sri Lanka, in your young cafe, and Kaya and Eradi, yes, Christo. You know, I saw that you fell ye na na nan ma or day a dancing way she will yem. Now, one ma a dying so. Your share and win the affair fair at a war a dying munina, a young one, a bro, a genetic affair, so not a barefoot computer in some anyhow. Now, so you and your crop pawn and make them so my young who sign your mafia fee and written a lump summer or my beer out which you shall unconnect to the woman who bear a far architecture, a canon, a demo, a ye. We thank God for the wonderful um, things and the amazing things that he passed through um, his um, martyrs uh, and his apostle to do for the, um, the Christianity, entire Christianity, and glory be to our Lord Jesus Christ for what he has done for the whole wide world, not only Christianity. Um, we have seen a lot of stuff here. We are talking about a nation um, development. When you when you want your country to be very um, beautiful, you can never sideline this beautiful architectural work we are seeing. Though we are in the temple of God and talking about um, the Christianity of this modern Europe, but whilst talking about the Christianity of this modern Europe, we can see a lot of architectural stuff. During those days, there was nothing called a um, computer or a, nothing called um, technology. But through the wisdom of the Lord endured in the mind of his people, um, these people had the visions and the know how to build and um, make very nice architectural stuff. And this is how their country is not only in this church. They believe in art and they, uh, they hold art very well. They see art to be a very very precious thing for them. This is why we are asking um, our people to focus on the um, architectural works too and to build our nations, to build not only the temples, but our nation entirely with a beautiful art star. So we can see that um, this temple is very big, very beautiful, a lot of architectural works. But this temple um, are into divisions, and there are a lot of art that um, we will look to. Um, this temple is into um, two or three divisions, and we are going to watch those um, places and see how those places are. And there are a lot of uh, names here, and a lot of um, statues talking about the Matthias statues and their names. We can see St. Andrews, we can see St. Agabus, we can see St. Peter, and we are going to watch all these things. We are going to watch all these This um, be the, like talking about um, comparing with the Jerusalem temple, we will see the holy, holiest of holiest. We are going to see the holiest. We are going to see the upper chamber and the lower chamber. And this will be the seat of the holiest of the holiest, which is the seat where the mass goes on, the seat already. And now we are to the next chamber. Very beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful. As I have already said, it is not easy for your eyes to be taken on 
to be taken off from this wonderful staff, from this beautiful church and its architectural works. Beautiful. And the fathers never built this place for this place to become a museum, but this place to become the house of players, which is the house of the Lord, for his children to come and pray and praise his name. Yes, this is the reason why these fathers put this beautiful structure. Not because of it to become the museum. But now, as a lot of questions are going on, are all these churches now becoming a museum? Or still the prayer house of the living God? Still the place where we pray the living God. And this is what many people are asking now in Europe. These beautiful structures and the beautiful architectural works are still there. But is it the place of players again or a, a museum? There's a statue of the Lord Jesus Christ when he was being crucified and wise um, being caning. The angel opened the curtains of the holiest place. That's the Lord's Supper. Saint Patrons, which is Amor, the statue of um, Saint Peter. Saint Peter, that's Patrons. And uh, the Saint Andrews, that's Saint Andrews. Great stuff here. There's Yaqub, which is James. Wonderful. Saint Paulus, that's Saint Paul. Great God. Wonderful art. one of them and this is Saint Thaddeus 
also one of the martyrs. And also Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Also one of the martyrs. He suffered because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Great stuff here, beautiful stuff. Saint Simeon. That's Simon. One of the martyrs that we all know very well also fought hard to finish till the last breath of his sacrificed his life to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew, one of the great martyrs. Jesus Barnabas. Barnabas, the one we know. The great Barnabas. You can call him whether controversial Barnabas or whatever you can call him. He also laid his life and sacrifice for his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippo. Philippo is also one of them. The martyrs hidden his place for their protection. Philippo. This also Thomas. What are you going to call this matter? Thomas. Saint Thomas. <laughs> 